Hello everyone, this is Mumbo here, welcome back, and today we're going to be taking a look at something really quite awesome, and that is this simple hidden storage solution. Now you guys know what I'm like, for anyone that's been on my channel for a little while now, you guys will know that I'm really into my hidden storage, and this one is definitely one of my favourite designs. Due to the fact that it uses slime blocks, it's actually a really simple and expandable circuit that's nice and compact, doesn't use that many resources, and is very quick and easy to build. All in all, I think it's pretty good, so let's take a closer look. So here we have a relatively unsuspecting bunch of bookshelves. They're all lined up and they're all looking pretty good. But if we just head over here and hit this button, as you can see, they all get pushed upwards and pulled it into the ceiling, revealing a bunch of chests out the back. This is where you could do all of your storage. You could chuck all your precious items in here like diamonds, gold and all your armor and of course boats and hoes but then once you're done with all of that you just hit the button once again and as you can see all of the bookshelves get pushed down from the ceiling and they're returned back to their original position. Now as always I feel the need to mention that these sorts of builds aren't really there for the protection they're more there to look cool. For example if someone comes into your base intent on stealing all of your items chances are they're going to do some serious rooting around some serious damage and they'll probably end up finding your chest somehow. What these are built for is to just look cool. I personally would much prefer my storage system to have some crazy piston opening mechanism as opposed to a bunch of chests on the wall, but maybe that's just me. But anyway, if we head around the back and take a look at the redstone behind this thing, you can see that there's quite a serious lack of redstone. There is just three redstone lines and this tiny little circuit off to one side that deals with all of the piston mechanics. That does the opening and the closing and it's all extremely simple. Now for those of you who do want to take a closer look at the redstone behind this thing, as always there is a world download down in the description for anyone that wants to check that out. But for those of you who want to build it, how about we crack on with that tutorial. So you want to get things started with a 3x6 area to do all of your circuitry and then a bunch of space off to the right hand side to do all of your hidden storage systems. But anyway to get things started with the circuit you just want to place a sticky piston down like this, three slime blocks on top of it and then three blocks up like this. Now this is going to make up the first part of your door you can see over here we have got this first door here and then of course they will continue on just like that so this is going to make up the first door and this level here is actually going to be your floor level but anyway on top of this slime block you want to place one two three four five six blocks up like that then take out all of those ones there and place two sticky pistons facing downwards now to wire all of these up, you want to place a block next to this bottom piston here, a repeater running into that block, and then redstone running right the way across like this. Then up here, you just want to place an immovable object down like this, a repeater running straight into that piston, and then once again, grab your redstone line and just run it out a couple blocks, because as I say, that is going to be running into all of your future modules, all of the other doors that you're going to have going on. And then finally, you want to go up to the top here, place a block like this, an upside down half slab on that corner, a repeater running into that one, redstone dust there and you guessed it we're going to be running a line of redstone out across like that next up you want to be out round the back once again place a piece of redstone dust next to this redstone here block here with a repeater and that is going to be running out of a block like this with redstone on top of both of these then uh, we're going to start doing our upside down half slab so you want to place an upside down half slab down here and then an upside down half slab here and just zigzag them right the way up creating this sort of little tower here and we're going to be going right the way up to the top up to this level right there then fill in all of the gaps with redstone just like this and then finally you want to place a block out like this a repeater that is going to be running out into a block then you want to place two blocks here with redstone dust on top of both of those for your final part of the circuit now we're going to be creating the dual edge monostable circuit so off the edge of this piece of redstone right here, you just want to place two blocks going like this, a repeater running off like that, set it to three ticks, that's going to be running into a block with a sticky piston facing across like this, a block on its face, and you want to place a block out like that, a repeater that is going to be running out into redstone dust right there, a block up like this, and then we're going to be running blocks right the way across like that with redstone just like that. So that is all of your circuitry done. If you just head down to this bottom corner here and place down a button, you can see that the entire thing is now working. All of the blocks get dragged upwards and also the extension is working fine as well. Now it's just a simple case of adding in future modules. So you want to go two blocks to the right of this piston here and place another piston. Then every two blocks, just chuck down another piston and the same thing goes for the top part. So you want to go two blocks across like this and then your double extender and do the same thing again. So that is two blocks, double extender, two blocks, double extender, and then finally two blocks, double extender there. Obviously you can adjust the size of this however much you need. But anyway, on top of these pistons, you just want to place your slime blocks in like that with blocks on the sides of all of these. And then do that for all of the rest of the pistons. 
and you've got yourself pretty much a completed hidden storage system. So link all of these up, all you have to do is repeat what you have going on up there. So redstone right the way across the end with repeaters next to all of these running into blocks. That's how you do the bottom section. For the top section, it's even easier than that. You just want to take blocks going right the way across like this with redstone on top of all of those. And then next to all of these, you are going to need yourself an immovable object and you're going to have to place those going right the way across like this with repeaters running into all of those pistons. And then for the final part, it's just as simple. Carry out your line right the way to the very end. Redstone dust on top of all of these and then blocks next to all of the pistons with repeaters running into those. Final part now, adding in all the chests. Just hit this button over here, push all of the blocks up like that. And then in the gaps, you just want to place two blocks in like this in all of the gaps between all of these blocks. Then finally, chuck in your chests on top of all of those blocks. And that is pretty much everything completed. Just place in all of these. Obviously, it depends on the size of your storage system as to how many chests you're going to have. But there we go. So if you just hit this button here, you can see all of the chests get hidden away. And then when we hit the button once again, all of the chests are revealed. The wall is sucked upwards and everything is looking good. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately, that is all I've got time for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button. And if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mumbo. And I'm out. I'll see you later.